Good afternoon. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Dramatic new video showing the tense moments leading up to a fourth officer involved shooting this month in Detroit. The video shows a man armed with a sword and a dagger approaching an officer at Grand River and Meyer. That officer appears to be armed with a taser, and you can hear the officer yelling for the suspect to drop the sword. And you can see as the man nears the back of the police vehicle taking a swing at the officer with a dagger. Now, at some point, a taser is deployed, but to no effect because the man is wearing some sort of protective gear. After that man was shot, police say he jumped into a squad car. A good Samaritan in the area, though, saw what was happening and boxed the suspect in. The suspect was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Well, a mother from Ecorse accused of abusing her young son is now charged with first degree child abuse. 34 year old Lisa Marie Reed is now in custody after facing a judge on Thursday. Prosecutors say Reed physically abused her one year old son Zion. Zion is hospitalized with multiple broken bones. His twin brother Zaire was pronounced dead on Tuesday. Reed's boyfriend is also in custody facing possible charges in that child's death. Well, the U.S. House has passed an amendment introduced by Metro Detroit Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib prohibiting Immigration and Customs Enforcement and the U.S. Border and uh, Customs and Border Protection Agency from forcing DNA collection from immigrant detainees. Now, a pilot program to collect DNA from immigrant detainees was launched back in January. Congresswoman Tlaib argues that the program is an attempt to criminalize detainees, creating a permanent law enforcement record for those who have never been accused of or convicted of a crime. Well, today we have low humidity. It's a great way to start the weekend, a great way to wrap up the month of July. 83 today, 83 tomorrow with increasing clouds. Chances of some showers tomorrow night. Heavy rain possible Sunday morning.